Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with Jahan's Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. I the content this video. Go ahead and smash that like button at the content this channel. Go over here and subscribe, man. Look, all right, so I feel like we need to talk about um, yesterday's practice, right? So first thing I'm going to say is this, right? Um, the context of the practice, okay? So when I release the video, right, I usually get, the, you know how I get it from Jordan Schaefer, Justin Rebeck, whatever, uh, Kyle P. Barber. They didn't say anything about the 30 15, right? When I saw it, I added the pinned comment. I even put it on the community tab so everybody knew what was going on inside of the practice, okay? So when I released that video, Isaiah likely hadn't been at the podium yet. Marlon Humphrey had been at the podium to say what was going on. Um, so that's why I, it came out like that. And that's why I added the pinned comment to let everybody know the context of the practice, right? So I just want to get out there. Secondly, I want to talk about the Ravens offense and actually throwing the nine interceptions, okay? Now, I'm not down on the offense about it. I'm not uh, uh, upset with the offense or anything like that or having doubts about its effectiveness, okay? Uh, especially, you know, if you get the context of third and 15, the defense is scripted to win, of course, right? Um, even in being scripted to win, right? Last year, I'm sure they did third and long situations. We never heard anything like nine interceptions, okay? Now, I know, first year, we get all of that, right? So, um, the context of the practice being third and 15, long situations, or not third and 15, but third and long situations, and the offense having to try to find a way to make a play. All right, defense stepped up. They won the day. They did what they were supposed to do. But let's talk about the Ravens offense. And I think, it, honestly, that is right on schedule, okay? The Ravens offense right now is at the point where you got to try things out to see what works and see what doesn't, okay? Um, I'm not worried about having bad days, having struggles, or having or being frustrated. A couple of days ago, there was, you know, Lamar Jackson uh, slamming his head on, helmet on the ground. Uh, there was Mark Andrews giving a middle finger to the referee because he thought he was held, should have been defensive pass interference in his mind. All of that is normal stuff. All of that is honestly all offensive player things, you know, being, being frustrated, okay? Um, the biggest thing for the Ravens is they want to work on the technicalities of the offense, right? So we heard about six false starts. To me, that's that's not, not something that you don't want to see, right? Uh, false start, get, get your drive killed just like that. And yeah, it's a five-yard penalty, but... It messes with your momentum and your flow. All right, we've heard a lot about potentially free rushers coming towards the quarterbacks, whether that was Lamar Jackson, Josh Johnson, Tyler Huntley, whoever it may be. That's something that the Ravens need to get addressed, right? Because the last thing you need is free shots on your quarterback, right? But all in all, the Ravens' office is right on schedule, They're right where they are supposed to be. We are we are two weeks into training camp, and they've had good days. They've had days where they were just okay, and they've had really bad days, all right? So this is very, very normal to me. So um, I think that the Ravens offense is just going to be just fine. Uh, I don't have any concerns as as we stand here right now. Um, really, you can't really be concerned about anything going on offensively, at least until we get to, I don't know, week three, four of the regular season. Because that's when you actually get to see adjustments made to what, what was struggling before. Uh, people picking up the concepts, are they picking up the plays? That's when you really get to see something. But right now, it's too early for any of that. So, I like the fact that the Ravens are making mistakes in practice. Okay? I do. Right? But at the same time, we have to be honest with ourselves and just say, nine interceptions is atypical. It's not normal. Even in a third and long situation practice, um, that's a lot of interceptions by the quarterbacks. Right? If we could be honest and say that, then we could be honest and also be like, this is a part of the learning process. Right? Uh, both things can be true. It's not an either or kind of situation in my mind, right? Um, but look, like I said, I'm not down on that practice. I believe that the offense will get better. This was just something that's a first step in the road, honestly. Um, you know, they're at a really early part. Uh, we'll get to see a little bit of the offense. I don't, I don't expect it to be a full on show. Uh, obviously, the starters won't play. But um, you know, when we get to next Saturday and they play Philadelphia Eagles, uh, it'll be a little different. But it is something that I, I'm interested to see what the offense is going to look like, right? Even if it is uh, Josh Johnson, Tyler Huntley running there for a little while, right? Um, I'm interested to see what they're doing, if we can notice the things that are new, right? Exciting, okay? That, that's what I, that's really what I'm looking for in preseason. Um, and uh, hopefully, this is kind of a separate thing. Hopefully, I get, we get to see Anthony Brown play. Uh, I feel like I talk about the third-string quarterback too much, but uh, Josh Johnson, in my mind, um, is kind of, you waste the reps a little bit, giving him... Uh, as much leeway as they're giving him. Uh, I think he he's might have thrown in the last week like seven interceptions, honestly. Uh, you know, Tyler Huntley and Lamar Jackson are doing nowhere near those kind of numbers. I mean, I think Lamar might have thrown two this this, this uh, whole training camp. 
And uh, Josh Johnson's got to be like at like seven. It seems like every day we were, I was coming on here and saying, Josh Johnson threw a pick. He threw a pick. I mean, Delshawn Phillips picked him off in back-to-back -back days. All right. So uh, I'm not really sure what's going on there. But as far as the number one goal and like, you know, Lamar Jackson, I think it's perfectly fine. Right. Um, and that I like the fact that he was frustrated about uh, Mr. Simon's blown calls. I mean, Lamar Jackson has always been the kind of guy that takes practice really seriously. Obviously, as, as most of these guys, they're professionals. Um, but I like the fact that they're upset, frustrated, and they're going to work it out. All right. That's the biggest thing to me is that um, if this was the office that they were two, three years in the making, this kind of stuff will be um, a little a, a little wary, right? But we're talking about you know first training camp, uh, first time running the plays with some of these with some of these guys out there, right? And um, when Lamar Jackson was throwing the interceptions, uh, some of the interceptions, I believe they weren't all to first team guys. You know what I mean? Like uh, I think one of the ones uh, Tyreek Black might have been out there, so you know he's not always it's not always the same receiving cores that he's going to be mostly throwing to. When the games is live, when it's actually Sunday of the regular season, right? So um, that right there gives you a little comfort as well. All right, so I just want to say that this is um, a good sign, honestly. Right, I'm gonna take it as a good sign for right now, and then also I'm gonna put it on the other side that the defense of the, that they're facing is a top flight, top notch NFL defense. All right, uh, the Ravens haven't had a real ball hawking kind of defense for quite a while. So seeing, you know, Marcus Williams get interceptions, seeing uh, Kyle Hamilton get interceptions, is stuff that I really want to hear about. And our guy, Darius Washington, who was seeing, like I'm mentioning more and more and more, because when he's out there, he plays well. He's a smaller guy. Uh, I think he's like 5'8", something like that, but he doesn't let that stop him. Um, he gets in the way. He's physical. Um, the only thing is that, you know, if he's out there, can teams run the ball his direction and can he, ha can he stand up and, you know, take on blockers, right? You know, and maybe, that's the only question really, right? Uh, but offensively, um, Tom Munkin has said previously that I've already talked about that, that the offense isn't where they want it to be right now. It isn't very good right now. And that's completely normal, right? So I think Tom Munkin is the kind of guy that has high expectations for his offense. He has high expectations for the players that he coaches. So when he sees something that's not right, um, he's not going to sugarcoat and say, well, you know, hey, you know, we're, we're learning a new office. He's going to say, well, look, we're not very good right now, but we will be good. And that's the part that I want to focus on, that the Ravens office, I believe, will be good eventually. Right now, it's probably not good to average right now, okay? Uh, but it's part of training camp, right? When you, you learn, you grow, you evolve. So as long as the Ravens office can learn and adapt and get better from the situation, it, to me, it's not really a big deal, right? Um I think that uh, when I put the video on yesterday, it wasn't to cause, you know, any outrage or, or I'm panicking about the Ravens offense. No, but you got to report what's in front of you, right? So when you hear about nine interceptions, even in the context of third and long situations, that is a lot of interception. That is something that you really never hear about from one practice, right? You know, nine interceptions in one training camp, you're like, yeah, defense had a really good training camp, right? They caught a lot of, they, they caught a lot of interceptions. But in one practice, you're like, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much my, thought, my, my thoughts on it, right? The Ravens offense is going through a learning process, man. They're, they're really starting from boots on the ground, day one kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So you've had out of pads when they had OTAs and all that stuff before, but it's different when the pads come on and the defense can be physical with you, disrupt your time and disrupt your route, disrupt your rhythm. You got to find a way to work it out through there. But from what I'm hearing so far, from what I saw when I was there watching the Ravens for a couple of days, I'm encouraged by how the offense looks. It looks more dynamic. Um, the, the tempo was faster. It's things that we have been asking for, we're getting, and we have an offensive coordinator who is um, a sharp guy who wants to be able to have a dynamic offense on the field that um, is also going, that's going to be effective, but, you know, can be multiple as well, right? I think the biggest problem that we had previously with Greg Roman was the fact that you know, if things didn't go exactly how he wanted, it's almost like they had two separate offenses. They had a passing offense and they had a running offense. And the two never really meshed well together. Uh, with Ty Munkin, it seems as though, you know, there's no pass offense, there's no run offense. Just one offense that all counterbalances off of each other. And you want to be smooth like that, right? When I think of a smooth offense, I think about like the 49ers, right? They got pass game, they got run game, and they can do it out of the same looks. They can they switch it up. 
And that's how you want it to be. You want to be able to defense to come out there, look at you, and not know what you're doing, right? To me, that was a big fault of the previous regime that you could say, hey, this is a run play right here. This is a pass play. With Ty Monk's offense, we hope that that's not the same, and I don't believe it will be. So the Ravens are in a early, early stage of the learning process, and uh, I think they're only going to get better from this point forward. So uh, I just want to drop this video talk about yesterday's practice and um, that it's not really a big deal, but, you know, you got to report on what you hear. So, and that's my other part, my thoughts and opinions on it, man. Thank you guys for listening. You stay to this point in the video, man. Consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, more Ravens content coming, man. It's Gabriel, just another fan TV.